Introducing the Nectar LX Plus series. Let's start by creating a loop. Holding shift and pressing the rewind button sets the left loop locator at the current playback point. And pressing the forward button sets the right loop locator. Pressing the scenes button will assign the pads to add markers when triggered. Let's add our first marker. Go to start, hold shift, and press scenes. Now marker one is assigned to pad one. Hold shift and press loop to go to loop start. Hold shift and press scenes again to create marker two. With scenes active, hitting pads one through three moves the playback point to our marker positions. Use the track buttons to navigate the tracks. Pressing the mixer button selects mixer mode and opens the logic mixer window. Hold shift and press the two bank buttons to select different banks of eight tracks that you want to control. Moving fader one controls the volume for channel one. Pressing the button below the fader mutes the channel. Holding button nine and pressing that same button will now solo the channel. The page button opens the smart control window. Smart controls can now be controlled by the knobs. Pressing the instrument button selects instrument mode and opens the logic instrument window. When the blue LED light is on, assignments follow the blue labels. In instrument mode, common parameters are mapped to the default page. These include oscillator pitch and volume, filter parameters, and envelopes. The user page is for custom control assignments using Logic's MIDI learn functions. Press the patch button to select the next patch in Logic's browser. You can also record automation from Impact LX Plus. Hold shift and press record to change the automation mode from read to latch. Hold shift and press record again to return to read mode and playback recorded automation. 